Now, I remember when I was a uh, design student in Italy and Sweden studying industrial design and then car design, and we had a group project. So I remember one project, we were supposed to design a van for an expo that was going on in Milan, for example. And we were a group of uh, maybe five or six people. We didn't all use the same 3D software. Some people use Blender, others use 3D Studio Max. Others, as myself, use Alias Automotive, for example. The problem is, if you wanna share these ideas inside the group, you have to have all of these softwares installed on your computer in order to be able to open and preview them. And that is where today's sponsor comes in. This is called Blueberry AI. And they reached out and they asked, do you wanna check out our software for 3D asset management. And I say, sure, let's do it. Let's see what this is all about. And this is, in my opinion, a very, very good use of AI. It's not regenerative. It doesn't just take whatever it finds on the web and create some uh, artwork for you. Instead, this is AI used. Make your workflow a lot easier. And that is what I wanna see AI be used for mainly moving forward. So this is very cool because what this does is makes it so easy to share and comment and work together as a group, specifically for, I would say, game developers and also industrial designers. If you have 3D projects that you're working on as a group, this is a web-based software that you can just drag and drop any sort of 3D file whether it be Maya, 3D Max, Blender, Alias, or whatever, you can just drag them into the software. You can preview them inside of this Kiwi engine that uh, Blueberry has developed themselves. You can rotate it, you can see all the parts, and you can also add comments to the projects themselves. For example, if you send it to management and they see something, they rotate the models, and they see something, for example, they wanna change, in the model, you can add a comment on that specific detail and then share it with the team inside of this web-based software. I think it's extremely useful. It's actually used by over 50% right now of the top 20 mobile game developer companies for their business to make it a lot easier and a lot smoother to get the teamwork done. And on top of that, they're also used in the automotive field by Cherry Automobile and Jaguar and Land Rover. This to me is a pretty big deal. I remember the hassle of first of all having to find the files that you wanna work with. That is also something that is integrated in the Blueberry AI because we have a function called AI search. That means uh, that if you have, for example, a big folder of a bunch of different designs and you wanna find a specific design, but you don't necessarily know the name of the file, all you gotta do is search for a character and it's gonna show you all the characters that, that you have in your uh, folders. You can pick from there and you can go into as much detail as you want. For example, character female, or you can search for cat, any, any image or video related to cat is gonna pop up with the AI semantic search, which is also a great uh, feature. This AI search features also uh, supports natural language, meaning that you can, for example, type in sofa and combine it with terms like sofa plus table, and you will find the right 3D assets, whether it be a 3D file, image, or video. So here we are inside of the software, and I just wanna show you what this looks like right here. So we have some files that we can check out. For example, we have this robot down here. Let's open this up, double click it. It's gonna open up inside of this Kiwi engine. In all web-based, you don't need to download Blender, 3D Max, Maya, or anything like that. And then you could actually preview this model in the inside of the software itself, which is absolutely fantastic to see. That means that there is no more, you know, switching between softwares or whatever you want uh, just to preview the model. And you can also explode the view like this. So you can see all the small details in on the X axis. And then you can also do the same in the Y axis. So you can see exactly what's going on with all these models. And you can also move this around and go up and down and check out all the small details of every single 3D model that you're working on as a team. And if you want to, if you see something, for example, if you are the management of this um, project and you see something, for example, if we zoom in on the head here, and you don't really like maybe the visor design of this head right here, you wanna make some changes, all you gotta do is just add a comment here, make the visor design more aggressive, for example, and then you just share it down here with the team. 
and it automatically integrates with Slack, for example, and other instant messaging apps as well. So if you have this uh, integrated with, it, with one of those, it's gonna pop up as a notification for the team so they know exactly what to work on moving forward. I also wanna show you this, 3D files right here. If you happen to have a 3D file, for example, we have a cutting tag right here, uh, we can just drag and drop it onto this area here inside of this. This is a Blender file. You can see that it's uploading right now. And you don't need, again, you don't need to download Blender in order to preview this file. So here we have it. Let's double click this and see what this looks like when we open this up. Here we have a Koenigsegg Agera looking very, very clean. Let's see if we can explode this. We can actually explode this and see all types of details, even the interior. In this case, looking beautiful. Let's bring it back down and explode it in the X uh, access as well. And you can see all the details here. Looking at the wheels, we can zoom into those, check out what's going on with the wheel design. Are they correct or not? Do we want to change anything? If we do, again, we just add a comment down here in the um, lower section to notify the team exactly what we want to change. So coming back to this current exec here, for example, I want to go back and show you uh, this demo right here uh, with this uh, robot. We can pick this again. So let's open this up. Go in here. You can see that we have the base color roughness, metallic, normal. We also have wireframe. So we can go in and check out all the details when it comes to the modeling of this image as well, or this model, which is great to see since this everything is web based. Another cool feature is that you can actually measure each part and distance of your 3D model inside of this web based software. And when you decide to make changes to these uh, models, you're gonna have a history tree. So you have uh, all, all the old versions are saved automatically so you can go back and see exactly what changes were made to the model as you progress and develop these designs further. Let's go back here. Let's pop in this Mercedes as well because I want to show you this GLS that we have, a Blender file as well. Now the cool thing about this is uh, it actually logs who opened which file at what time and this prevents if you're working on something that you don't want to be shared to the public you can always see who opened what specific file at what specific time. It will also, of course, prevent leaks of important projects that they're working on that you don't want to be out in the public just yet. So let's open this Mercedes up here. You can also hide and show different parts. You can see all the parts here, for example. We have this big, interesting cylinder going around this GLS, which I don't want to see, so we can just go ahead and hide that one right there. Zoom in on the model itself. Let's see if we can explode this one as well. And as you can see, we can explode this and see all the small little pieces. Uh, this, is, this is so much easier to just share a project in this way and have every single 3D software be integrated in a web-based solution like this. It makes the teamwork so much easier. You can also explode it, of course, in the Y-axis again. And if we go in and bring it back, we have the same type of um, uh, previews that we can show here. For example, we can see the wireframe of this image. If we go into wireframe right here, you can see all the details of the model itself. For me personally, I did not even know that softwares like these existed. So great job by Blueberry AI. You can go and check this out at blueberryai.com. I'm gonna link it down below. And thanks to Blueberry AI for sponsoring this video.